Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Dan Play Spelunky. I'm Dan this is Spelunky, and uh, the quest for hell continues. Uh, which sounds like a bad thing, but it's really not. It's because, you know, it's just really hard. Oh, great. Um, hey, cool, we get two ropes. Net two gain. Let's see if we can also avoid getting crushed by a multitude of objects, including Olmec. Uh, on this playthrough that was pretty ridiculous last time but also hilarious so that's uh that's the uh the appeal of roguelikes right it's supposed to it's supposed to have to do with you know dying is fun kind of thing um so let's uh let's just get it going <clears throat> uh just a quick rundown in case you've forgotten the steps to get to hell involve finding the ujet eye oh shit not doing that. Um, oh, god damn it. Alright, Ujet Eye. Um, then you need the Black Market to get the Ankh. Then you die on the Moai level. And then you go to... Um, then you need to kill Anubis to get the Scepter. And then, you know, that's that's where it's at. So, um, god, I'm gonna rob the shopkeeper. There was no real way for me to escape that, because if I jumped, I would have gotten shot, so... Next time. Next time I'll get it. I swear that I'm actually not that bad at robbing the shopkeeper. I'm maybe maybe I'm a little rusty, and that's what's going on here. Because I've, I've robbed them fairly successfully plenty of times. Just ask Min, so... Yeah, you guys are going to be like, yeah, right. And of course, Min would be like, no, no he doesn't. Because Min's a jerk sometimes. All right, cool. That was a good throw. I thought I'd had I had the arc right there. All right, I can get through here. Um, what already hit me? I already forgot. It's probably uh oh yeah, bat. God, I hate the bats in this game. Okay, just because fighting a bat is just kind of a, a, an exercise in patience. You have to just wait for the for the bat to get to the the right level, and then you finally you're like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, and you get them. All right, spiders are worse though. Um. Just because sometimes you forget that they're there. Oh, great. A grandfather spider. Let's uh, do that. Get some paste. Excellent. Ooh. An altar. And I think this is a snake pit level. Cool. Now I can sacrifice this damsel. Assuming... Okay. I was like, assuming that I don't screw up the uh, the dismount. And, like, accidentally... Oh, specs? Really? I'm getting the U-Jedi game. I don't need specs. Alright. Let's slowly make our way down the snake pit. Keep throwing these things down so that we can maybe hit the snakes. Yeah, it looks like I got the ones up there. Ow! Jeez. Alright. Put the bomb down. Get ourselves a pickaxe. Looks like the shopkeeper had like bombs. Ah, do I really want to use a rope just to get a bunch of bombs? Can I even get it from up there? Yeah, I can. All right, cool. I can afford them. Um, so let's uh, 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 make it up here. Let's buy some bombs. I could buy the mystery package too. No, I don't need it. Because what if it's a weapon? I'm already carrying like a weapon. All right. Um. Get the snake, and let's get out of here. <laughs> so far, uh, not so good, but you know, we're, we're oh, good. There's the, the thing for the Ujedi. So let's check to see if the chest is over this way. Let's uh, take out the snake, like chill style. Oh, there is the key. He's gonna start running at me. Boom. Again, let's pop down this time, and let's uh, let's just take care of this key stuff first. I guess I should bring the thing with me. Ba -ba -ba. Come over here, pick it up, run back, jump, jump, jump. Great, Spideys. Okay, cool. I'll take care of that, and we're good to go. All right, so now the next step is to find the black market in the uh, jungles. <laughs> Pretty easy. Um, you have the little radar, so to speak, 
of the uh, the Ujedi to help with, or to help find it. And um, oh, I thought it was a bomb one. Sometimes there are bombs in those chests. Like like everything in this game, this game is trying to kill you. So, um, or it's pretty easy for the game to kill you. Like if I were to take a swing at that. Would be very bad. And I died. I knew it was gonna happen too. I was like, I'm not doing this right. I have to swipe at the thing with the with my whip. Jeez, man. Uh this game and I like you guys probably think I'm the worst at this game. And uh I'm not the worst, guys. Come on. That's such a superlative. But uh but I'm not playing very well so okay um that's gonna be a recipe for disaster let's just skip it then spelunky playing 101 don't put yourself in stu at stupid risk and maybe because i'm trying to impress you maybe because you know i'm just being reckless because well it's not like i haven't played in a while because i started playing again so i should have you know sort of gotten my mojo back but <laughs> I, uh, I've been making some reckless decisions, so. Okay, good. take care of that. Get out of here. Um, Spelunky Mojo is, you know, it's a, it's a precarious thing. I keep missing that that's, like, the actual way out. Whoa, okay. Okay. That was very close to being very bad. Oh, cool. Shotgun. Alright, cool. Shopkeeper's dead. There's a Kali, uh, Kali altar, which is part of why I did it. One of the better weapons in the game, the shotgun. Let's see. Wow, I think all those, uh, all those, um, what are they called? Pellets. Or all the, all the buck hit the bat. So, alright, and let's just get the dog while we're at it. Boom. Free item, compass. Ooh, compass is a good one. Especially for the caves later. Alright, let's keep this moving. Let's see what other little nifty little treats we can find. Looks like there was an animal in there. Alright, looks like nothing. Really, nothing doing. Let's get out of here. Um, we're gonna have to deal with a lot of shopkeepers. And of course, now when we get to the black market, we're gonna have to deal with all of that nonsense. But I think it's worth it. I think that that the number of bombs that you pick up from the black market more than makes up for having to deal with all the shenanigans, assuming that you can deal with them. So, great. That guy's probably gonna hit him, so. All right, cool. Kind of, he could actually kill him if I get lucky. But I don't know if I will. All right, that's another hit. All right, there we go. Use it to distract him. Just trying to be intelligent about it. Oh yeah, there's where he killed uh, my buddy. Oh, and I guess he probably got hit by the, the thing, so. This style of um, gap is just just a touch too, too wide for me to cross by running. I hate it, because that means I have to use yet another rope. Maybe robbing the black market, I'll actually be able to get some ropes, too. Right, let's get this guy. Alright, come on. She's probably going to get iced by the shopkeeper at some point. But, still worth trying to get her out of here. She's valuable. Oh, <laughs> She's kind of tied up there with everybody. Alright. Oh, shopkeeper's dead. Um, let me see if I can pick her up. Put her right there. All right, cool. So that means, of course, really. Okay, cool. She's safe. I thought she was gonna land on the spikes. I was like, God, ah, but she's safe. Spikes below though. A lot of spikes. All right. Good thing you can like walk through spikes. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to crush anybody. Let's put her there. Come back and get my shotgun, my boomstick. 
and we'll get out of here real briefly because I can feel the ghost's presence getting ready to come over here and wreck my day. Okay, so. Still got shopkeepers and stuff, like rogue shopkeepers to deal with, but we're doing okay. Um, I'd like to get some pace, but so far the granddaddy spiders have been sort of where I need, I need to use a bunch of bombs to get to them, and I don't think that that's a worthwhile investment. Damn it. I just screwed myself up with that. I thought if I shoot, I might knock myself over to the side and cause unnecessary damage. And then I shot, and I did exactly what I thought. Let's move over to here. Okay. Now I got myself into a hole for no good reason, because I couldn't fucking shoot a bat, and then I got hit. Uh, okay. Um, I do kind of need that, but... It's just not going to be easy to get to it. Alright, let's try this. Okay. Nope. Okay. And the shopkeeper is going to be over here-ish somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Nope. Missed that. And unleashed him. Let's, I took a little bit of a risk there by trying to grab that, but I was like, no, nah, let me let me try it. All right, here we are in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Ah, oh, jeez. Looks like I hit an explosive frog. All right, exploded over there. Yeah, we're not making it out of here. Not even kind of, guys. I hope you know that. Considering that my chief source of light is my gun right now. Let's see what we get there. Oh, do we get him? I think we did. And I killed myself. Okay, one more time. One more time, and then we're gonna call it for this episode. Uh, unless it's an exceptionally short life. Ooh, a boomerang. These aren't so bad. They're pretty useful. Unless you do that. Okay, let's trigger the spider. Yeah, there's nothing out here for me. And let's just okay, yeah. Spider webs and boomerangs, not friends. Okay, and let's trigger this guy. We need if I had like a bow and arrow or something, but probably would end up hurting myself more than the enemies because of the erratic way that arrows behave and the way that they damage, they self damage if they. Oops. Um, that damsel is too high for me to buy. I don't know. I don't want to waste a rope just to get a damsel. I don't think it's a good investment. If it were for a cotley uh, sacrifice, like a free item, I'd do it in a heartbeat. But that's just not, that's not good, uh, good spelunk and playing. Okay, so let's, uh, oops, I'm just crawling. Ah, Kali thing. But, it doesn't matter because I can't, it's not like I would have had the, the person traveling with me, so. Okay, and... Let's back out a little bit. Is there anything here worth stealing? No. But I could if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Uh, I wouldn't mind the spike shoes, but everything else is kind of... Eh. I guess the uh, the freeze ray isn't so bad. The freeze ray is pretty powerful stuff. <laughs> Set the trap. Set them up, knock them down, guys. Alright, let's... Uh, keep playing poorly. How did I miss the, that gold? There's also an achievement that I've never gotten before where you're supposed to get through the game without collecting any gold. That seems really tough. Um, just mostly because of how, how the game plays when you destroy, like when you use bombs and stuff like that. Like There are a ton of ways for you to unleash gold and not even realize it. You know, like anytime that you see gold there, in the in the floor like shiny if I were to blow that space up it would unleash gold if you um, if you see um, what am I thinking um, 
some enemies I feel like they drop gold too, but I could be wrong. Right, let's see what's going on. Over this way. I think this is the way I'm gonna go. This boomerang has proven to be very useful so far. Let's knock it over, trigger this guy. <laughs> I was like, geez, my timing is just ridiculously bad with this. Okay. And for safety's sake, I'm going to do this. Really? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I just threw it. It didn't, it didn't boomer the ang. Because I know that's how that verb works. I think there's a spider in the corner there, but... Oh, here's the chest. Where's the key? There's the key. Excellent. This game is not being a total douche to me. Alright, let's get through here, get out of here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I do hate all the spider webs. Those are kind of the worst, just because I hate how they impede your movement. Alright, now let's get the Lombre here. He's cool. I like that that design of the damsel. It's got like a speedo on, it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot, guys. It's pretty hot. Um, all right. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Cool. Dog style. <laughs> I didn't mean that. But, again, hi, Mom. Thanks for the present. Specs. This game has been giving me all these specs for no good reason. I think... Did I anger Kali? Is that is that what it's about? I mean, I've angered Kali on camera, but... All right. Nope. No spikes down there. Should be safe. Okay, cool. Ow! Asshole. I'm a vengeful uh, Spelunky player. Oops, missed. Alright, get him that time. Seriously, game? Sometimes this game makes me mad. Ah! Like then, that was really dumb of me too, though. So. Spiders, man. Oops. I'm surprised that 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 thing didn't go boom. I, f I figured that what we were doing would have triggered it. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, that was really lucky. Okay. We're gonna have to go up to the scorpion path here. As soon as the scorpion turns around, I'm gonna go this way, so. Okay, knock it down a little bit. Maybe I can, oh, jeez. Uh, really, game? Really? You saw that, right? I guess the spider had invis invincibility frames or like after an attack animation, you don't trigger like new frames or something I don't know that was grade a bullshit cool nice shot little hoodie man I think this is not the uh, the mascot of Eric Serki or maybe it's Eric yeah or maybe it's the mascot of um, Derek you I think it's the mascot of Derek you that this little hoodie guy or maybe that's a leopard guy I don't know but uh that's who this guy is, since we haven't found success with any of the other dudes. Oh, great. Yep, that's why I jump to the left. If they knock you out in front of uh, the spikes, it could be fatal. Unfortunately, I do kind of have to check to make sure that this isn't the, the area where the black market is. So let's do that so that I can cheat. Just walk right across. There's a Kali altar here. Like I said, just gotta double check to make sure that you don't get iced. You know? Oh great, I don't... I guess I could... Alright, eliminate two birds, two dangerous birds with one stone. And we can just use this as a little stepping stone now. Alright, I can buy more health, but I'm not going to. And I don't feel like angering the shopkeeper for a health either. I like to get uh, more concrete gains than that. Keep looking for the black market though. 
nothing doing there. Yep. That ah, uh, are you kidding me? You all saw that I landed right on top of that stupid bat, right? Sometimes this game angers me. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Nothing really. I don't hear any ticking. So no black market. Let's keep it moving. Then. Nothing down here. And... Ooh, a box. Uh-oh. Frog. Alright, I think I can... Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, where is the thinnest area? That's one, two, three, four. Yeah, no matter what, I'm going to have to use probably two bombs to get there. Which is borderline not worth it. But... Who knows? Maybe the black market's back here too, although I don't have any way to get into it now. Alright. Yeah. Did I say borderline not worth it? Because I meant 100% not worth it. At least it wasn't like the black market over here and then I didn't have any bombs to get in. Uh, wait, should I swap to the machete? Yeah, I'm going to. No, I like a projectile. I don't need to get it close and, and dirty with my uh, vic victims. Okay. Next area. I have these little notes here. I think I was trying to remind myself of some Spanish movies to look for, and I lost the other one. Okay. Uh, damn it. Great game. Where is it? Is it like in the water? No, but it. Is it up here? No. Um, it's not down here. Let's keep searching for it, but it doesn't matter because I can't open it. This is going to have to just turn into a normal Olmec round. Oh, shit. That's if I even survive it. found any boxes or anything yet. Sometimes this game, man, thinks you're trying to do one thing, but you're definitely not. Like, why would I be doing that? Or, like, trying to throw a rope up while hanging off the edge. I forgot that you're supposed to definitely do, like, a get up next to it and hold down. Okay, so I got one health, and I gotta get all the way to the end now. Oh, I can buy a kiss do that. Maybe buy another one. Okay. I think they I can buy another one, too. I don't need this money for anything, now. Really, I should have just killed the shopkeeper and gone for that as my sort of method of getting out of here. But I spent all that money already now, so it's kind of a bad idea to attack him. You know, sort of like, <laughs> if I was going to do it, I should have done it before, kind of thing. So, oh well. Nothing in here. Well, I think there's like, yeah, giant piranhas down there. I don't have enough stuff to fight the Big Bertha or whatever the name is. Hits hard, hits like a truck, and I don't have a shotgun, so. Could have a shotgun here if I had bombs, but I don't, so... Ooh, a Kali altar. It's pretty sweet. Uh, if I could find a damsel. But I don't think I will. Didn't even notice those spikes there. Really, like, all these tiki booby traps, like... Kind of intense. But if you're decent at dodging them, you're fine. There's the shotgun. You see it underneath the ash grave? That's a little pro tip for all you uh, Spelunky players out there. Free shotgun, always. All you have to do is... Uh, um, what am I trying to say? All you have to do is bomb the, uh, the ash thing. Alright, so... I've never stolen the Crystal Skull before, but now we're going to. Triggers a ghost right away, but it's worth a lot of money. So, 
given its placement, it wasn't that risky of a move. Okay. Oh, great. Woolly Mammoth. Whoops. Alright, well, the Woolly Mammoth will die when it walks over here on the mine. There we go. Along with a poor, poor Yeti. It's really funny. Oh, no, this is... Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. It said it smells like wet fur. That means that it's a Sasquatch level. Ooh. Wait, but I screwed that up. I could have killed it real easy. Alright, let's get it now. Cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was really dangerous, what just happened right there. I got really lucky to survive it. And I got myself some uh, spike shoes out of it, too. So, Oops. There goes my boomerang. I don't know which way is the right way. It's not that way, though. It's not this way, either. I'm not used to not slipping now. So I'm, like, playing really cautiously for no reason. Okay, as soon as this guy gets up here, we will do a little bit of that. That was almost really dangerous. It almost brought that uh, that thing all the way back up to my face. So, cool. Sort of a safe win there. Um, keep everything moving. Uh, this, is, this is a pretty good run so far. I know I just damned myself to death probably, but, you know... I appreciate it so far, and I've been having some fun. Um... Oh god! Ah, I thought I was jumping faster than that. <laughs> well, guys, it's been uh, pretty great. Thanks for watching. Dan plays Spelunky. I'm Spelunky. This is Dan.